Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the weekly rune elemental reading for December 8th through the 14th of 2024. Uh, if you do not know what your elemental alignment is, there is a link in the description to a natal chart, which is also uh, with the Merlin report. So it gives you your 12 houses with all the planets, all that fun stuff in it, and then gives you 10 to 20 pages, depending on what's all there, of a baseline description. So you kind of get an idea of who you are, where you stand, what your generation is, but it also gives you your elemental alignment. It's really super cool. I know I talk about it a lot, but it's <laughs> really one of my favorite uh, tools that I've uh, purchased over the years. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, link in the description on that as well. Otherwise, we'll hop right into our first uh, energy, which we read for the elemental energy of fire, covering the zodiac of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And I read intuitively, so we'll start with the book and go from there. Your first rune is for Fire Family. Get on the right page. We have the Manaz rune, which is the ma rune of man, color of deep red. Tarot Association is the magician, and astrology is Jupiter. So this is really indicating that you've come a long ways. You've already learned a lot about life in general. Uh, humankind, deep wisdom held in the body, mind, and body as one. Knowledge, memory, interdependence of the masculine and feminine within. This rune is really saying you've gained a lot over the time that you've lived. <laughs> and this, this week is really about bringing that in. Coming to a deeper understanding of positive and negative, masculine and feminine, um, light and dark however you see duality but it's really about bringing those together and understanding that inside of each and every one of us be it male or female inside each of every one of us we carry duality it is our personal balance that creates a lot of the things in our life but it's really wanting to emphasize understanding that duality is a tool the magician is all about i've gained knowledge and tools therefore i can continue on with my journey and the Manaz rune is wanting to bring forward that you've gained a lot of tools now it's just time to understand how far you've come with those tools and is there anything that you maybe don't have is there something you need to work on is there something that needs to be brought in this week is really a good reflection week is what I'm hearing your second rune is Elder Futhark here with Fehu uh, color of light red. Tarot association is the tower. Astrology is Aries. So this is definitely in fire's department. Um, good luck, success, fertility, and harmony. And it's interesting that those are the words, but the tarot association is the tower. With these two runes, it's saying you have the tools to move forward. There may be something that needs to be let go of. That's that tower energy coming forward with Fehu. But Aries is the dominant astrological energy here. So you've got this new beginning that is coming forward, but you also understand that you have gained so much knowledge. You have all these new tools that you've been developing over the years. And what they're saying is this week is a time for reflection, looking back at what you've learned, looking back at where you've come from. You may not even really think about this very often, but it doesn't really matter where you're at in life. They're calling you this week, Spirit is calling you this week, to look back. Take a peek at where you've come from. It can be a physical ancestry, just your personal life. It could be looking back into your ancestral line um, through meditation, through inner work, that kind of energy. Or it could be looking back from a spiritual perspective as how far you've come through the path of your spirituality, whether you're in a um, like a lodge or a coven or a church, well, however it manifests. But they're really wanting you to look back and understand the things that you have gained. 
understand this week, it's not really an active week. By the end of the week, they're said there's some new stuff that could be coming forward for some of you. But this week is really about reflection and looking inside and understanding how far you've come, what needs to be released, and then moving into the future of interesting stuff. Uh, they said the future of amazement. However, that's going to show up for you guys. Um, fire definitely looks like it's going to be an interesting week and not a super active one for you, which, you know, we don't always have to be super active, right? So let's hop over to our, now it's fire, Earth family with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So Earth family, we're starting off with a similar rune, which is the Degas rune. Uh, rune of the day, color of light blue, tarot association is temperance, astrology is the dark moon, awakening and clarity, uh, success, prosperity, abundance in life. There also is this image that is, you have found your balance. Temperance is saying you've already achieved this, and now you can pour forth your wisdom for others. They're also saying with the dark moon, you're coming out of earth you're coming out of a dark period you've been kind of uh hibernating um they're saying you've been planted and now it's time to poke your head out of the soil trying to like move that rock away from the <laughs> cave you've been hiding in and it's time to step out into the light of day that's going to be manifesting a little bit different for each person but they're saying this is the time to understand you are not your darkness you are not the frustration the uh, depression whatever this is saying you've been through that now it's time to step into the light and really start to understand that that was a necessary aspect so you can grow and move forward with the miraculous and the beautiful that is coming up for you your second rune is Kano the torch or fire the color of light red tarot association is a chariot astrology is Venus uh, creative fire, awakening artistic impulses, pac passion, and sexual desire. Earth, you're coming out of a dark place. And it, this is going to be different for every person, so this is general readings. You're coming out of a dark place, but you have Kano, the torch, coming forward as your second rune. This one over here. And that's really wanting to bring forward this time is the time is right for motion. The time is right for movement. It could be coming out of a period of loneliness. It could be coming out of a period of uh, frustration, a relationship that maybe wasn't the best option, but it's really saying now is the time for you to step into your desires, your passions. And they're not saying to, you know, go out and <laughs> do things. It's more about understanding that you are as a human bound with passion you are bound with these cravings and they're really it's not just about bedroom activities they're saying that this is also implying things like creation a new hobby a new art project or picking up one that you have cast aside because oh that that's that's kid stuff I can't do that I can't why am I wasting my time on that or it could be a way to deal with um, you know give you a break from life that's what our hobbies are for they're there to help us have fun and relax it is a break we all need that and so they're saying reconnect with a hobby or an art project or an art form that you have already used or maybe learn a new one but it's really saying you're coming out of a darker period you're stepping more into a light aspect of existence enjoy the journey we're all gonna have ups and downs earth you're just coming out of a down you're starting to move up you're getting into the daylight again and it's opening a part of you that you may have thought was closed for a while anyway but now it's time to step back into that enjoyment and that light so let's hop over to our air family for the week of um Dece in december 8th through the 14th with air of gemini libra and aquarius so uh, air, you're getting a similar starting point to our fire family. So you're starting off with the Manaz rune, the rune of man, with deep red, uh, tarot association is the magician, astrology is Jupiter, and it is B 
being human, deep wisdom held in the body, mind and body working as one, knowledge, memory, interdependence of the masculine and feminine within. Air, they're giving me a little bit different message for you. They're saying that this one, they're wanting you to focus more on the Jupiter aspect, which is the traveler, which is the more happy-go-lucky, kind of like, meh, devil-may-care type personality. You have the tools. You're still getting tied with that magician energy, which is good because it's saying <laughs> you have knowledge, wisdom, and abilities, but they're really wanting to emphasize this is a good time for you to, if not physically travel, do some spiritual journeying, maybe even plan a future trip. This week, they're wanting you to really look at what it means to be a traveler in your world doesn't not my world your world <laughs> and how does that manifest for you what does that make you feel how does that make you feel to know that you have the ability and the uh, desire to be able to travel and go somewhere else to be able to drop into a meditative state and experience a different life or existence how does that ex how does that make you feel how does that make you show up in the world so air your first rune is really about checking it, finding that new, you know, double check your balance because they're saying that you've got your balance. For you, it's that Jupiter energy where it's the more happy-go-lucky. You're all about finding the positive in things and also a lot of movement occurring. They're also saying it could be dancing. So <laughs> uh, your second rune is the Laguz rune, which is water, uh, color of deep green. Tarot association is the star. Astrology is the moon unconscious intuition mystery psychic awareness hidden sources of creativity you're tapping into something in the subconscious aspect and that's where that traveling is coming in and they keep talking about this as possibly meditation aspects or um path working and exercises if you're especially if you're in the northern hemisphere it's getting a little chilly so it's not gonna be you I mean it might be if you want to go like skiing or something that could be too but they're saying that this is really about especially with the the, 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 <laughs> the star and the moon coming forward as well we're looking internally to experience the universe we're going within to understand without so air this week is really about tapping into the uh less analytical part of your mind and really getting to the nitty-gritty of what does it mean to travel how does you, how do you prefer to travel is part of that but they're also saying when you're going and doing the outer work, you are delving into the celestial, you're starting to step into the beauty of existence, but you're not doing it in stagnation. You're doing it through movement of some form. Uh, they're talking also that this could be a moving meditation. Sorry, they were showing me images, and I'm like, words, <laughs> which is like Qigong, uh, Tai Chi, uh, even that's weird even belly dancing they're saying is part of a moving meditation um, in the traditional sense there are some aspects that are spiritual to that so they're saying to focus on that type of movement but not modern stuff they're saying look back that's one emphasis so it's going to be the traditional type of stuff it's the traditional dances it is tai chi qigong the very fluid motions that are stimulating but calming at the same time that's what they're wanting to talk about with this movement aspect of jupiter but also with the star moon it's bringing that movement into a meditative state um, so let's hop over to our oops where to go there water family water covers cancer scorpio and pisces so all of our fishies let's see what we got starting off for you guys i think this is the thorn rune nope wrong one um <laughs> it is the thurizaz rune the god of strength color of bright red tarot association is the emperor astrology is mars there's definitely some strong masculine energy coming through for our water family this week protection someone provide help or good news coming they're saying that this week is a time for you to be a little bit more protective of those that you care about and those in your circle but also being willing to step up and be a leader to step up and be a bit more out in front of other people they're saying that this is a time for you to reveal the strength that you have been 
they're saying you've been suppressing it. Why have you, why are you suppressing it? That's interesting. Um, it's time to really bring that inner strength out. Maybe it's something along the lines of like a work situation where, well, I don't want to speak up because if I do that, they might think I'm, I'm weird or something. What I'm hearing is this is the time to maybe voice those opinions, maybe bring that situation forward or, oh, that's interesting. Ask that person out. You've been a little nervous to do that. You have the inner strength. You've got the ability to do it. What's the worst they can say? No. It's really saying you've got the inner strength. You've been doing this work, Water. It's time to maybe step into that limelight just a little bit. You don't have to go bury yourself in the limelight. Just put your toe in it. Um, your second rune is the Jira, the year rune. Color of light blue. Tarot association is the fool. Astrology is earth. This is interesting. Um, cycles of nature and life. Something coming to fruition. Effort receiving reward. You're really stepping into this beginning of something new. But you're doing it through strength. This is not a time to be timid. This is not a week to be, oh, I'll just play behind the scenes because I don't want to... I don't want to offend or hurt anyone's feelings. You don't really, for some of you, that is not an option this week. It is really about stepping into your abilities, stepping into your authority. That doesn't mean you have to be pushy, rude, um, arrogant. It does mean you have to be a little bit cocky, but not a lot. Keep the ego in check, but understand you've done this buildup. You have set yourself up for success. And water this week, it's really saying, what are you doing? Do what you have been planning to do. Do what you're expected to do at this point. Not physically expected, but, you know, there's <laughs> a higher council in order here. But with the Jira, it's the year. You are setting yourself up for an amazing new year is what I'm hearing. It's not just about you're doing this for this week. Um, the other signs we were talking about this week, water, you're getting a broader range here. The fool is saying you're just beginning, so there's this little bit of naivety, but that's where that strength is coming in so powerfully. You might be a little bit naive, but that's okay because you've got the strength to learn any lesson that is coming that you might need to be a little, get a little touch up on. Maybe something's not quite as clear as it should be, um, but they're saying that this is a good time for water to step into their authority and be able to, you want to ask for it. Plain and simple. Water, this is not a week for you to sit on your laurels. This is a time for some action for you. A little different for water, normally not quite so active. So, this week, take the time for all signs, all elements. Take the time to look within. As within, so without. As you build that knowledge, you're stepping into strength. You're stepping into authority and power. When you do that, that power is not... I am in control of others. It is, I am in control of me. When you step into authority, it is the authority over your destination, your destiny. You're not going to interfere with other people. That's not how this works. They can have their opinions, thoughts, and feelings. That's life. But you're coming to a clear understanding of yourself. This is everybody, all four elements, all 12 zodiac signs. This week is about coming to a deeper understanding knowing that you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. You might be someone else's shot of whiskey, but you're definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Not sure where that came from. <laughs> but take your time this week to appreciate how far you've come. Take your time this week to see how you're moving and what is shifting for you. Universe is conspiring in your favor. Are you ready and willing to step into it and hold the hand of God, Source Divine as you go forward? Because this week, they're saying this is going to be the calmer week. There's going to be a couple busy things going on. But this week is a good time for reflection, doing a little bit of inner work, and setting yourself up for the upcoming year. With that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.